news now. It is now time for another season of Owning Your Outdoors. And joining me, as always, is Doug Schroeder from Lewis. And Doug, it's good to see you after a long winter. It's great to see you, Aaron. I'm glad we're going to be working again together this year. I'm very excited for it. And so once we get out of the winter, once we start getting into spring, I think the first thing that people like to think about is getting a garden going. So. That's right. Some of the beautiful weather that you've uh, given us lately has got people inspired to get out the yards and uh, get their garden ready to roll. And it may be a little cool now, but we're planning ahead. We're planning for when you want to get that garden going. So what's the first thing people need to think about? The first thing people need to think about, there's three main things that you need to have a good garden. You need an area that has plenty of sun, like we have here, a good access to water, and then some very fertile soil. So uh, amending the soil is always recommendable. So once you've picked out your spot, once you know where you want to put it, first thing you got to do, you got to till up the grass, right? Right. You got to uh, spade the grass, remove the sod. Uh, you just want dirt. You don't want to spade in the living matter into the soil. Remove that. And then if it's a brand new garden, you'll want to till to about 8 to 10 inches deep and then apply two to three inches of compost material like manure here or uh, any other good compost. And so then what should we think about after that? I mean, I think we're still a little ways away from putting plants in the ground, right? We are a little bit away, but uh, there's lots of other things we can do. One thing I want to do today is share a tip I just read about. I have not done it myself, but I think it's a great organic way to get rid of the weeds in your garden uh, patch. Um, just lightly break the soil and then cover it with clear plastic. Let it be, uh, uh, the plastic be on there a couple weeks. And what happens is the weed seed that's in your soil emerges. Simply roll back the plastic, pull the weeds, and you've eliminated all that seed that was in your garden bed. That's a good tip there. Now, for someone like me who lives in an apartment, I don't think the landlady's really gonna like it if I till up the uh, yard outside. So what do you suggest for me, a container? A container. A container, a raised garden bed. Uh, the population is getting older, like myself. <laughs> And plus just the ease of working with container garden. You don't have to break up your yard and uh, usually three or four good sized containers and you can grow a lot of produce in a season. Uh, with that key is to use a good garden soil if you're gonna use containers. And so if you're using containers, bigger is probably better so that way the plant has more room to grow, I'm assuming? Bigger is usually better. Uh, different plants require a different soil volume. But uh, for the most part, bigger is better because uh, you keep more moisture. A larger container holds more moisture and you'll be watering less. All right, sounds good. Any other tips for if you have a garden in the yard or in containers? One more tip. If you're going to have a container garden, remember to fertilize. You're going to be washing a lot of water through that soil and every two weeks it's important to add some uh, good fertilizer. All right, some good tips from Doug here so far this morning. We're going to be talking more about gardening here as we head into the next week or so. I'm going to have all this information for you online at dakotanewsnow.com after the show. Make sure you stick around because we have Fast Cast coming up next.